Uh, I'm the Almighty Zentaco, and I'm here to bring you another tutorial for Click Team Fusion 2.5. Excuse me, I'm drinking. Uh, today, today's tutorial is going to be the long-awaited smooth scrolling tutorial. Smooth scrolling is actually not so bad. The math can be a little complicated for people who don't program a lot or perhaps don't have a lot of math experience, but I'm going to try to go through it and make it as simple and understandable as possible. <clears throat> so the way smooth scrolling works, it's pretty. It's a pretty simple concept. We are going to first uh, start by creating a camera object. So we're going to need to add an active object. In this camera object, all this is is an object that is going to follow our player around smoothly. So that means the further away it is from the player, the faster it's going to move to catch up, and the closer it is to the player, the slower it's going to move, creating a nice sort of smooth arc movement. So, and then what we do is we have the camera center on this camera object. It'll, uh, you know, it's going to follow, uh, the camera's going to follow around the camera object. So let's change the name of the camera object to object camera. And let's change the art because I think the art sucks. I don't like this diamond. So let's just make it a red square. Okay, so to begin with, we're going to need to plug in two alterable values into our camera object. So click on over to the properties tab and add two new values. We're going to need scroller X is the first one. I spelled that wrong. Scroller X. And we're going to name the second one scroller Y. Now what these values are, these are essentially the X and Y coordinates of our camera. Our camera is going to set itself to these, to these, uh, these variables. Okay. So what we're going to do is make a behavior. We're going to put the code for this camera inside the camera object. So add a new behavior. We want to do a start of frame event. And the first thing we want to do is set the scroller X and scroller Y to the position of whatever object you want the camera to follow. In this instance, it's the player object. And the reason we're doing that is because uh, we we're, this is the object that's going to follow, so we want the initial uh, variables to be the, this position, and it'll also set, we're going to set the camera to object to be on top of this position. So uh, we need the X coordinate, scroller X to the X coordinate of the player. And we are going to set scroller Y to be the Y coordinate of the player object. <clears throat> now we need an always event. What we're going to do here, this is this is the complicated part. We need to always set the position of our camera object to the uh, scroller X and scroller Y. So we're going to set the X coordinate of the camera to the value which is scroller X and the same thing for the same thing for scroller Y. Set the Y coordinate to value scroller Y. So initially, our <clears throat> this is going to make it so that uh, the the camera object is at scroller X and scroller Y, which initially is going to be the position of our player. And now we need to add another line. So we need to always set the alterable value of scroller X to scroller X plus, now we want to set this part in parentheses because we want this math to be done first. So scroller x plus, <clears throat> it's going to be the x position of our player object, and we're going to subtract from that the value of scroller x. Uh, what this is essentially doing, here, close parentheses, and we will multiply this whole thing here by a fraction, we'll do 0.01. Okay, so what this is doing here inside this parenthesis, the first thing that's happening, you're essentially finding the difference between the position of the camera and the position of the player. So if the, let's say the camera was to the left of the player, so let's say it had a coordinate of, let's break out the calculator, a coordinate of 100, <clears throat> and let's say the player had an coordinate of 500, we would take the player's coordinate, 500, we would subtract the uh, camera's coordinate, 100, that would give us a result of 400. We would take that result and multiply it by 0 
0.01, which would give us 4. And then we would take all of that and we would change scroller x to scroller x plus 4, which would move it then 4 pixels to the right. And that would happen every time. Now this is going to, every single time this code cycles, it's going to come up with a different result. So the number it moves to the right or to the left is going to be different. And that's going to be bigger or smaller depending on the distance from the player object. Now this number here at the end, this is our modifier number. This is going to affect the speed at which, uh, you know, the size of the, the increment that, the, <clears throat> that, that uh, the camera is going to move. So if we make this, you know, a bigger number, it's going to have a different result. Or a smaller number. You, the smaller the number, uh, the slower it's going to go. Bigger is going to make it go faster. Now we could also plug this in. We could make this a variable and plug that in so that we could affect that, you know, outside just by clicking on our object and, and or even uh, code. Right now we're not going to do that because we're just going to set it to 0 0.01 and you know, you'll, if you want to change that, you'll have to change it through programming here, but be aware that you can make this a variable and change this on the fly. So, so all we got to do, that was the scroller X. So now the X coordinate is taken care of. So we just have to do the same thing for the Y. All right. So we need to alter value, set scroller Y. Actually, the fastest way we can do this, we'll just, uh, let's move this up here. Actually, we want to have it so that <clears throat> so that the math is done first and then we update the position. But anyway, copy scroll this whole scroller X code, paste it, and we're going to change it so that we're just going to change all the X's to Y's. So scroller X, make that scroller Y, and change every instance of X to Y, and it'll do the exact same thing for the Y coordinate. Okay, let's give it a test and see if we did it correctly. Yep. See, the camera object is smoothly following our player. Now, we didn't set it up so that the, the game's camera follows the camera object. That's all that's left to do, and that's very simple. So we already have some scrolling code here. It's just kind of nullified right now. So always, and we want to click on our storyboard controls. That's where scrolling is uh, located. Always, we're just going to do it so that uh, we center the window position and frame relative to our camera object. run that and try it all right we have a nice smooth scroll works great um, obviously you don't want this camera object to be visible so let's go ahead and make that uncheck visible at start now there is one issue which is pretty easy to fix um, the camera object is following the X and Y coordinate of our player so that means that the camera is is going to end up relatively centered in the screen and that might not be ideal for a platformer you probably want to have more space above the player but that is really easy to fix we just need to delete this code here and uh, change it so that it centers the screen differently for x and y so for the x we will center the scrolling horizontally to the x coordinate of the camera because we want that to be Uh, right there on the X, X of the camera. And for the Y, we're gonna do the same thing, the Y of the camera. So scrolling set, set uh, vertical, yeah, position and frame to the Y coordinate of the camera. And we want this to be also have an offset above the camera. Um, and since the Y coordinate up is, is negative, we're going to, oops, dang, didn't mean to do that. We're going to, uh, subtract, I don't know, 100. That should give us a decent offset considering the size of our character and screen. Let's give it a shot, see how it looks. Okay, looks like it works. We have a nice smooth scroll. It's offset. And uh, you can obviously change your offset and you can change the speed of this however you want. Now you can also use this for any, this is not just for scrolling, this really is, all this code does is it allows one object to follow another object smoothly. So you could use this for anything. You could have maybe like a little, you know, hovering bat buddy that follows your your player and maybe he shoots projectiles along with the player or anything like that. You could use it for RPG movement where you have uh, players that smoothly follow other players, like in a line. 
you know, things like that. It's, it's real simple. You can just, you know, the sky's the limit, use your imagination. But um, yeah, so it works and we got it working and it seems to be finished. So if you guys like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. And uh, if you have any other videos you'd like me to do, just write it in the comments and I'll see if I can get to it. So hopefully that helped you guys out. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments and I'll do my best to get to them. Um, I'm kind of busy. I'm working on a, a game for the Android right now, but uh, I'm going to try to make a tutorial video at least, you know, once a week, probably every weekend. So thank you for watching, guys. Have a good one.